Hello again, it's been about a week since I made my last video, so I wanted to make a new video to show the progress that I've made. Um, one small note, which really should have been in the previous video, is this, which is the animation is the correct speed. It was slightly too slow before, and I fixed it. Um, so, uh, the shadows look a lot nicer, they're really smooth. You can see here, it looks very uh, kind of blurred and shadowy, like a real shadow. Um, but that's that's still quite similar from last week, which is why I made the shadow video. Uh, okay, I also want to address this, which is the uh, that plane that the dwarves are standing on isn't being uh, rendered as a shadow, and that's because uh, shapes that don't have a back face can't be rendered as shadows. It needs to have uh, two faces or a face uh, on either side, like most 3D shapes do. The plane is really an exception to this rule, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, the white plane underneath is uh, a height map, which I'm using to represent terrain, which is why here you can see height map display. Right now it's a gray, which means uh, kind of 50-50. The um, white means high spot and uh, black means low spot. I can generate a random terrain by pressing the F key or oh, it's the G key, pardon me. Uh, this generates a random terrain. Looks pretty interesting, uh, but kind of chaotic. You can just generate more, generate it really quickly. Looks really freaky. Um, so this just g gives you an idea of how a height map works. It's a, it's a grid of heights that are joined together in a mesh. Uh, you can, uh, okay, so uh, the next generation mode is H, which uh, smooths this randomness. Uh, so that every uh, height is influenced by its neighboring height somewhat. So just to compare the sharp and the smooth, sharp, smooth, sharp, smooth, sharp, smooth. Yeah, it's 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 still kind of rubbish, um, but you know it's 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 something. I I I was kind of it was uh, working towards something uh, more final. So uh, which brings me on to the third generation type, which is uh, by pressing J. You can make hills. So what this does is it generates um, it generates a small height map, and then on the bigger height map, it uh, it interpolates between the heights of the smaller height map. So if you have a five by five height map, and then you want to project that onto a ten by ten height map, each two points on the larger height map will be sort of related to each other. You can expand that further, so you can have a, a 7x7 height map on a 100x100 on a height map, say, and then if you interpolate between the points it will generate this sort of smooth hill um, effect, which I think looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Um, and this could be the basis of like a future game, perhaps, though at the moment it's just a graphics application. I wouldn't classify this as a game just yet. Uh, so we can, you know, we can project shadows onto this, just like uh, last week when I was showing off the shadows. It works as you'd expect. You can still rotate the shadows with the O key. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this week. Um, what I want to do in the future, in the short term, is add a skybox and some fog. I think that would add a lot to the uh, to the effect of the graphics. It would make it look much better with a very small amount of effort. Um, and the other thing I want to do is add physics so I can have things moving around and have the uh, the user interact with the physics, maybe pick things up and throw them around, that kind of thing. I think that would add some much needed interactivity. Right now everything's just, you know, you can't interact with it. It's not very good. That's it for this week.